it is Thursday, so happy laundry day! Look at me being all egocentric, like, it's my laundry day, so obviously it's your laundry day as well. Look at me pulling out psychology terms that I learned in 11th grade and still remember and can use in context. I'm making a vlog on YouTube. Do I want to be on YouTube? Yeah. Sure, I'll be on YouTube. Okay. What's your name? I'm Barrett. Barrett? Barrett. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Say hi Just to... doing some laundry. Say hi to Barrett. Yeah. Will Thank you be you. my new friend? Sure. All right. Friends. I just made a friend. And there's more people here. Yay. Hey, do you guys mind being on YouTube? Because you're in the background. Sure. That's alright. So I did my hair today. So yesterday, as I was saying, I unfriended someone on Facebook. And I didn't really feel that bad about it. Because it was like a sibling of a friend who I didn't really know that well. And he posted a really rude comment on one of my publications. So I deleted his comments and unfriended him on Facebook. Yeah. Stick it to him, yeah! <laughs> I was kind of curious on your feelings about unfriending people on Facebook. Especially like in the context of like when you break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend, is it like socially acceptable to unfriend them on Facebook? How do you guys feel about unfriending people on I, Facebook? I um, unfriended my ex and blocked them, so I didn't unfriend my last ex because like I really don't care. Like I'd rather them see what I'm doing without them. I don't know. So that's how I feel about it. I had a friend who unfriended her ex on Facebook and then now they're like getting back together. Not like back together, but like they're repairing their relationship. So they're friends again on Facebook and they were unfriended for a while. I don't know. Hi! By the way, I have 12 followers, which is pretty impressive considering that I've only been doing this for a week. I'm contemplating getting an actual webcam instead of just talking into my computer camera on the Mac. So yeah, I'm thinking once I get 100 followers, if I get 100 followers, I'm not sure if I should be like that arrogant, like I'm going to get so many followers, but I'm thinking once I get 100 followers, I should consider investing in a webcam. Or like, if someone, like family members or friends, would like to pool their resources and get me a webcam, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool. Just, just saying. Those are basically the two things that I want right now. A webcam and a tattoo. I've known exactly what I wanted since I was 16. It's a rainbow butterfly. It's going to be right in between my shoulder blades there. Rainbow butterfly in between the shoulder blades. It'll be cool. Mm -hmm. As soon as my mom stops or like I just like grow up and am no longer living under my mother's roof. Well I'm not living under her roof now but she's paying for my roof. My friend started a vlog. I will post a link. This is backwards. I will post a link here for you if you're interested. You should check her out. She's kind of funny. I feel like I should just give publicity to my friends since I have 12 followers and she has as far as I know, only me. I have the Odyssey here. Hopefully I'll start reading that. It's really cool because I'm in this class and we're reading all the books that I've always wanted to read but have never actually put the effort into reading because they're hard and they have strange words and they used to be in Greek and stuff. So I'm going to start reading the Odyssey because, um, honestly, epic poems make me fall asleep. I'd be reading the Iliad and then like I'd wake up 10 minutes later like, huh, I didn't even know I was tired. Hopefully it's slightly more interesting than the Iliad because the Iliad is really like Greek guys fighting each other and more Greek guys fighting each other and death and blood and destruction and there was really no plot besides that. Odyssey, hopefully more interesting. I just wanted to give a shout out to all the people that commented on my last video. You can see it here. It's for the it gets better project if you haven't seen it and um, so yeah I got a lot of really awesome comments on that video so thank you guys for all the comments that you're posting and we'll continue to post I'm sure I um, appreciate that a lot and I just hope that the video is seen by the kids who really need to see it and I really believe in the project that Dan and Terry are doing so thank you Dan and Terry for starting this project and that's pretty much all I have to say I'll edit this and put it on YouTube as soon as possible. I love you all. Bye.